What up? This is Swayze, and yeah, guys. Yeah, this is not a quickie. Calm down. Chill out. Chill out. Don't pull them to the side. We could light the candles from Target, baby. We could get romantic. Because this is not a quickie. I'm giving you at least 10 minutes this time. YTK. Fuck Susan. Yes. F Susan. If they demonetize this video because I just said that, at least, at least you paid me to say it. And just in case you're new to the channel and you didn't know, I'm from Brooklyn for real. All you need to do is hit that link in the description and you could become my new best friend. But let's get into the story because I need to understand why are you guys in the Bronx stabbing people over some Jordans? Over some Jordans. So apparently some guys ran down on a 17 year old beat him up inside of a bodega, stabbed him up, and took his sneakers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this reminds me of the junior case where the kid was stabbed up in a bodega over a mistaken identity. However, fortunately, this kid survived. Now, I'm gonna let you guys check out this clip, and I'll be right back with my commentary. Brazen attack inside a Bronx bodega, the NYPD says a teenager was stabbed as two men stole the shoes right off his feet. <clears throat> CBS 2's Kevin Rincon has new video of the attack and spoke with a worker who saw it all unfold. Nah. Here inside this bodega at the corner of Decatur and East 195th Street, things took a violent turn Sunday morning behind the counter. In this surveillance video, you can see two suspects throwing oh, just about God. anything they can Come find on. at a 17-year-old. That's excessive. Police say the suspects were after the teenager's That's shoes. That's excessive. Everything put on the floor over there. Everything over here on the floor. Marino is a cook here. He says it was chaotic. The two people were she come over here. And then she got a fire over here, got a knife over here. She got a chop like three times. Mm. Two workers tried to help as they pushed the suspects away, but they still managed to take the shoes and ran off. After that intense struggle, the teenager was able to get out of the store. Police say he was taken to the hospital in stable condition. That's Customers, good. they were Thank left God. shocked to hear about what happened. Shaking my head. Lord. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I mean, you know, I mm, understand mm, somebody mm. try to hurt you physically, they try to protect yourself, but for a pair of sneakers, that's dumb. Police are now asking for the public's help releasing oh, nah, these photos of the suspects. Crazy. In the Bronx, Kevin Rincon, <laughs> CBS 2 News. Whether you have it, people, if you got the new fly Jordans on, you just might get chased into a bodega and stabbed up. Stabbed up for your new purchase that you just copped off of StockX. It's a shame, but if anybody can translate what that worker inside of that deli said, I will cash app you 75 cents. But all jokes aside, I don't think this robbery was just over some sneakers. Look how crazy these kids is giving it up inside of that deli. This seems like a retaliation to something and they just took his sneakers to add insult to injury. That's all this was. I honestly don't think they was literally chasing him down for his Jordans. But then again, I could be wrong. So pull up in the comment section and let me know what you think. Now real quick before we transition into the next story. First things first, do you guys see the new badges and emojis within the live chat? Do you see? Do you see? Shout out to my members, Bobby Fish Sticks, Jay Gordo, and Carlita. Been holding a nigga down when it comes to the YouTube memberships. And I just want to thank y'all and show my appreciation by giving you guys some emojis and shit that you could play with. You feel me? And real quick, before we move on. I have to ask you guys a question and I need you to keep it a buck with me. I need you to keep a keep it a full buck with me, all right? You my peoples, la familia. It's all right, you can be honest with me. I recently linked up with a little baba and my bud man was dry. There was no za in my area at the time. So I told Shorty, yo, just pick up a little wave real quick. Bring that through for me. She said, copy. She came through with the eighth. I asked her how much was the eighth. She said 35. The next morning after she went back home, I cash apped her
This is my first time ever cash apping a bitch. Facts. Now, I want y'all to keep it a buck with me. Let me know. Say, Swayze, you are fugazi. What are you doing? This is exactly why I'm not joining your YouTube membership program because you out here cash app your bitches $40. Pull up and let me know if I'm on some Fugazi shit. Should I had dead of her on that 35? Like, should I had just dead of her on it? And another things are getting a little too out of hand when it comes to Gotham City. This article is from 1010 Wins and it reads, at least 10 people shot and three dead in New York City overnight. This happened overnight, people. Now the article reads, most of the victims were shot over the course of about an hour, according to police. Three of the shootings killed two men in Brooklyn and a woman in the Bronx. The first deadly shooting was around 10.45 p.m. in the Marlboro houses in Brooklyn. Police said a 23-year-old man was shot on West 11th Street near Avenue X. Responding officers found him unconscious with a gunshot wound to his face. The victim was rushed to the hospital where he was unfortunately pronounced dead now no arrests have been reported in that shooting however less than an hour later in brooklyn a 35 year old man was shot during an argument at a barbecue in bushwick shortly after 11 p.m police said the victim was shot in the torso and left arm he was taken to white Cough heights medical center but unfortunately he did not survive now within this case a 30 year old man who police described as a person of interest was taken into custody and a firearm was recovered however just when you thought things would die down minutes later in the bronx a 29 year old woman and a 31 year old man were shot at east 194th street and marion avenue in fordham manor around 11 24 p.m Police said the woman was shot in the torso and the man was shot multiple times in the body. Both victims were taken to St. Barnabas Hospital where the woman was unfortunately pronounced dead and the man was in stable condition. Now, no arrests have been made for this shooting and the police say the investigations for all three fatal shootings are ongoing. Now, I'm going to let you guys check out this clip and I'll be right back with my commentary. Now to breaking news, a violent night in New York City with at least seven shootings and three people killed. Several of the incidents happened in Brooklyn within the span of just a few hours. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis joins us live in Bushwick with more. God Jenna. Damn, bro. Can you imagine? Yes, Indian Andrea, eight people shot, three didn't survive, and as you mentioned, just in the span of a few hours, among them was a man who was shot here behind me. You can see there's still a scene here. It's unclear if he was the intended target or an innocent bystander. Shell casings on the ground, a bullet hole in a car, and police taping off a crime scene. Police say the 35 year old victim was on his way to a cookout after 11 p.m. when a large fight broke out on Menahan Street. He was shot and pronounced dead at the hospital. There have been at least five other shootings in Brooklyn since 9 o'clock Wednesday night, from East Flatbush to Gravesend, and three in Bed Stuy. A similar scene in the Bronx. Oh, damn where police say two people were shot, a woman who didn't survive, and a 31-year-old man who was shot multiple times in critical condition at St. Barnabas. It happened around 11.30 p.m. near Marion Avenue and East 194th Street, but police are still investigating the circumstances of the shooting. This violent night added to the growing list of shootings this year. As of June 13th, there have been 634 shootings, a 64% increase compared to 2020. God damn! Back to the shooting here, we're told police have a person of interest in custody, a 30-year-old man, and they also recovered a gun. We're live in Bushwick, Brooklyn, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS2 News. Thank you. Where did you have it, people? What are we going to do? Things are getting hot and the summer's getting cold. Just make sure you be safe out there so you don't end up as a story on Swayze TV. Shit, I got to be safe. Can you imagine if I got a report on myself? What up? This is Swayze, and I was shot. I don't know if it was the woos or the chews, the OGs or the YGs. All I know is fuck all them niggas, because I'm shot right now. 
I don't want that to happen to me, and I don't want that to happen to you, because people like us like to stay out the way. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in the Batmobile Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze When I shoot my shot, it switch, don't play me We on that block from the night to the noon Don't talk about it that cause you know it's not cool You thought they was lying, whole time they was telling the truth You hate yourself and you ain't need a rope This party busting, that shit not a coach I switch it up so they call me the GOAT Don't